Number 45, letter A. What is the power output in watts and horsepower of a 70 kilogram sprinter who accelerates from rest to 10 meters per second in three seconds? All right. So um, first we're talking about power, right? Um, so I'm thinking about, well, possibly using one of the equations for power on the right-hand side. And they also give us a time, right? So, okay, so that means I'm probably narrowing my search down to either this formula on the, one of these two formulas on the right. And either one, they're really both the same, basically, because they both have energy as the uh, numerator value. So it really doesn't matter which one we choose. So why don't we just take, um, I'm just going to use this one, all right, that the power, all right, is equal to the change in energy that an object experiences divided by the time it takes for that object to change its energy, right, by a certain value. Okay, so now we're look to find, uh, we need to find power, so therefore we need to know these two variables. Well, we already know the time, right? They told us that this, this uh, acceleration is occurring in three seconds. So we already know the time. So we just have to find the change in energy. Well, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of energy are we talking about? Are we talking about spring energy? Are we talking about potential energy? Are we talking about kinetic energy in this problem? What are we talking about? Well, it appears that there is a velocity, right? They're going from rest to 10 meters per second. And therefore, I'm probably thinking, well, the energy in this problem is related to kinetic energy. So now what I realize is that now, instead of having just the generic change in energy value in the numerator, I'm going to have now my change in kinetic energy value in the numerator. Okay, and that should now be divided by time. So now let's just expand the change in kinetic energy. Remember, change in kinetic energy can be rewritten as 1 half m times the final velocity squared minus the initial velocity squared. All right, all over time. Great, guess what? Let's just plug it all in because we know everything we need. So one half times the mass of the object, it was 70, he or she was 70 kilograms. The final velocity was 10 meters per second. So that squared minus the initial was zero. They said they started at rest. Divide that by the time now of three seconds. And very good. All we need to do is calculate. So 0 0.5 times 70 times 10 squared all divided by three. And we get a value of about uh, 1,000, let's do, well, I'll do in scientific, 1.17 times, oops, times 10 to the third, all right? And that is in terms of watts, since we just calculated the power. So that's great. That's the answer in watts, and now they wanna know horsepower. So we have to just convert watts into horsepower. So let's do that in the middle of the page. So we got 1.17 times 10 to the three, watts times then we have to convert watts into horsepower so we need to know the relationship right remember that there in one horsepower there's about 746 watts so the watts cancels and now we are left with our answer so we just have to do a division here so 1.17 oops 1.17 times 10 to the third divide that by 746 and get about 1.57 right 1.57 horsepower. All right. So that would be the answer in horsepower. So we got our two answers. Let's take a look at letter B. Considering the amount of power generated, do you think a well-trained athlete could do this repetitively for a long, for long periods of time? Huh, I don't think so. Right. I mean, it's producing, you know, by looking at this number, I mean, we, we might know how to relate that to some other value we know, right? The, the about 1000 Watts, but I think it makes it a little more clear by converting it into horsepower you know, this is about the power of one and a half horses. So do you think a, an athlete could, over time, you know, over a long period of time, generate this amount of power, the amount of power equal to one and a half horses? Pro probably not, right? Probably not. Maybe some of those strong men, sure. But, well, also over time, probably not. All right? They, good at short bursts, but it's the, uh, doing this repetitively, definitely not. All right. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Helps us out tremendously. We would thank you so very much. And uh, I look forward to helping you in the next question. Take care.